I get requests on a regular basis for ideas for videos and I got one here today that uh, made perfect sense. How do you do a, an alignment of a VHS VCR without an oscilloscope? Yes, you can do it and it's not hard to do. You can do it with a TV, preferably an analog CRT TV. It makes the process much easier and I'm gonna show you how to do it here right now. So in this episode, I'm gonna to try to show you how to adjust the tape path on a VHS machine without an oscilloscope, just using a TV. Now, I should point out that in order to do this, it's much easier to do it on a CRT television than it is on a digital. On a digital TV, you're gonna have a much harder time to try and adjust this. We'll try it on the digital TV first and see whether I'm able to do it. But it is much easier on an analog television. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try adjusting the P2 and the P3 guides, which are these ones right here, P2 and P3, and see if I can get the picture to track up. And I'm looking at the digital monitor now. So I'm adjusting the P3 guide. Now I'll go over to the P2 guide and I'll start moving it slowly up and down. <clears throat> Okay, I'm getting close. Back to the P3 guide. Back to the P2. Going to go counterclockwise here. Okay, I'm getting some distortion. I'm going to go back out and then back to the P3 guide. I'm close. Back to the P2. There, I think I have it. We'll rewind this video. I'm gonna mess with the guides again and then redo the same thing on the analog monitor to show you how much easier it is. Now, as you can see, the picture is gonna be pretty much perfect on here now because, and I did this using the digital monitor. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna screw things up big time, just start twisting guides around just really mess it up as bad as I can possibly make it like you'll never ever come across one that's like this but we'll screw the guides down all the way both sides okay so that's about as messed up as you're ever gonna get a picture I took both sets of guides and I screwed them down all the way when you're dealing with an analog television you have to remember that your your picture starts here the top of the screen is on this side and this is the bottom of the screen so we can look at the screen we can think of this like our our envelope on our waveform monitor we want to make the waveform on a waveform monitor our scope we want to make it flat when we adjust one side we're adjusting the left side here and we're adjusting the right side there Think of it like turning this sideways. If I turn the set on its side, this would become the left side, this would become the right side, if I turn the set on the side. So here's our left side guide, here's our right side guide. We can start by just adjusting, and we start very careful, very slowly turning the guide, and we watch the picture. Okay, I've now got the picture much better on the top. Let's go over to the right guide.
How easy was that? On the digital monitor, it was a lot harder because the digital circuits were trying to lock in to the sink, which was distorted, and that was causing the picture to flip and jump all over the place. Whereas on an analog TV, you're, you've got instant feedback. You don't have that delay of digitizing the signal and with all the distortions. Now I can mess this up again. This time I'll go the other way. This time I'll we'll screw the guides up and down. Now the reason I've got a blue screen here is because what's happened is I've actually raised the tape up enough so that it's no longer on the control track and it's muting. All right, if I push the tape down a bit so you can see, right, but I've raised the tape up enough that the control track is not being read. So we'll just lower this slightly just enough so that the control track has a signal and then we can we can mess with this guide over here. Okay, so now really bad, really bad. I want to try and get this close. So I can start on either side. I can start on either the top or the bottom. This time I'll start on the bottom side. So I'm going to try and improve the picture here, get the least number of lines as I go down. Now, I watch as I'm doing this, I can watch the tape. If it starts to curl on the bottom of this guide here, I know I'm too low. So I'm going to bring the tape up just a bit by turning the guide up until I see the tape is no longer curling. Okay, tape's no longer curling. That is probably fairly close. We'll go to the other side and I'm going to start adjusting the guide here and watch the watch the lines in the picture. If you watch these lines they're going to get closer to, or get further yeah further apart as I get closer to being correct. Okay. It's not bad. Not perfect. But now it's getting there. Now we'll go back to the, the P3 side and we'll just adjust that slightly. Remember we're, we're trying to get the, the best uh, best picture on the bottom half of the screen here. Go back to the P1, or P2, sorry. P1's over here, we don't adjust that. So now we're back on the P2 guide which is the one on the left side of the screen. Lower this down a bit so you guys can see it a bit better. So we'll go back to this one here, P2. We're going to adjust the P2 guide. Okay, that part's looking good. Go back to the P3. Perfect. To prove it, just take this tape out, put it in my color bar tape. Okay. This is my alignment tape. We're just going to tweak that in to get it the best we can. Let's put the scope on and see how close I am without touching this anymore. Okay, I'm just going to hook up one channel of the scope to test point. I think it's test point 9 on this one. Which one am I on? Test point 10. T uh, test point 2. So, test point 2. Okay, I'm not perfect. As you can see, I'm not perfect. But I am pretty close, and that's just looking at it on the screen here. And if I want to get it perfect, well, I can just tweak the guide slightly here, looking at the signal on the scope. And flatten it right out. But I was close. I was close enough to view a tape without using a scope. You don't need a scope to do it. To do it, to get it perfect, you do. 
but you don't need a scope to get a watchable picture. All you need is TV. Analog monitor. Very easy to do. Can be done on a digital monitor as well, an LCD or a plasma, but it's not as easy because of the sync and stability problems that you'll have on a digital display. An analog display, very simple to do. And of course, we confirmed it with the scope. That's how you set up your VCR. Same thing applies to 8mm uh, high 8, same thing. That's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell at the bottom of the screen to be notified of all my new videos. We'll catch you in the next one.